Hey there, my name is Marquis, and today I'm going to be walking you through the newest feature to the Asana platform, dashboards. Now, they recently released this, this new feature to give project managers and teams a better understanding of what's happening at the project level. Now, before I jump in, I must say that um, I wish they had you know, added this feature to the organization level as well as, you know, the projects or even at the team level would have been super helpful. But uh, as you'll see from this demo, they are still working through a lot of these things. Um, if you are using Asana, there's the opportunity you'll see in a second to give feedback on the tool. So I, I will say it's a great step forward, but it's not all the way there yet. But this is as much as we know currently. So when you are in your, um, your list view or your board, whatever view you're using, um, navigating over to dashboards will boot up um, your first dashboard here. And so what it shows you is just a quick snapshot of everything that's happening inside of that project. And so obviously for the purpose of this demo, there's not a lot going on here. I'm the only person in this workspace, but just imagine that there are some other collaborators, there's more content. Um, I've added in some points here so that we can estimate work a little bit better. And so that's some of the data we're gonna be seeing today. So um, from what we can see, there are zero completed tasks. Let me just, uh, maybe I'll go complete some tasks and update that for us. There we go, just a few of them there. Great, and then it updates for us in real time. So four completed tasks, 24, um, incomplete task. We have seven overdue and then total 28 tasks. So if you're currently using, you know, the progress or portfolios, um, this may seem a little bit similar to that. If you're doing any updates, you know, we now have the ability to simply drag and drop um, our status updates um, weekly or whenever we choose to. There you go, it's taking its sweet time, right? So if you're currently doing this as a project manager and we're, or we're dragging and dropping, we may have seen functionality like this already and I'll, I'll, I'll get to that in another video. But um, for right now, let's just stick inside of the dashboard. So the first tile right here, you can customize them a little bit. So you can view it by you know, incomplete, upcoming, overdue, uh, or all tasks. And in this case, it's, it's rated by section. And so um, in week one, I can see that there are two incomplete tasks. Same with week two and week three. And then week four, in this case, there are four incomplete tasks. So obviously we can change it to what's overdue by section. We can drill down to what the completion status is of each of those, um, depending on what your custom fields look like. Um, we can break it down by what's overdue based on you know posting week. So there's lots of flexibility here. Um, and then there's you know milestones, tasks, and approvals. So in this case, I'm gonna check out what, what's happening with my milestones. So there are five of them right now. And um, what do we have here? Plan content, there are four that are in planned content um, and then one that is in, um, in the approved caption section. So some flexibility here for sure. Um, you can see you know, what's happening down to the, you know, the people that are on your team and what tasks are assigned to them, you know, what tasks are assigned to people, are there any that are overdue? So in this case, there are two overdue for myself. Um, and then we just have this you know, basic graph right here that just shows you know, the incomplete to complete tasks over time. Um, and then they have this other section right here where if you have a number or numerical value, again, I've added points, um, that's how we estimate work. Um, so in this project, there's about 40 hours of estimated and what this would be is, is billable work, um, if that's how you have it set up. So you can really at a quick glance, you know, see what's going on in the organization. Um, I would encourage you though to come and take a look at it. It is available to all um, paid subscriptions. So if you're a premium or business, enterprise, obviously, you have access to this new dashboard feature. So I'd love to hear what you think. Um, like I said, I don't think it's all the way there yet. I'd love to see dashboards at the organization level where you can add in, you know, time tracking like every hour or harvest um, and really get a good impression and understanding what's happening in the organization, break it down by budget and employee or assignee, user, whatever you want to call them in this case. But yeah, I, I think it's definitely a great, you know, step in the right direction and I know that Asana is constantly improving it and if you are using dashboards and you have a, a thought of how to make it better how to improve it 
they're always taking feedback. So you can just click up in that little button in the top left corner there to send your feedback. And often the developers and the, the product development team will take those things into account as they're releasing new features. So that is the dashboards feature, the most recently released um, feature from Asana. If you found this helpful or informative, I encourage you to like this video, subscribe to the channel. And again, if there's a colleague or a team member who you think would find this helpful, please share the video with them. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day and we will talk to you soon. Bye for now.